pay attention. You're looking for capital. A drama lesson at Moulton School in Northamptonshire. Year seven are working on a scene from Jason and the Argonauts with head of drama Emma Fraser. Yes, they're doing all that. Oh, it was all going so well. What happened? He's dying. He's not meant to die yet. She's, she's... Emma's very experienced, but the boisterous enthusiasm of the class makes it difficult to keep them on task during rehearsals. Don't start spoiling it because you have some really good concentration. Okay, so keep it. Oh, yeah, she's not pulling me for once. Stop her. You're not dead yet. Right, can you all stop, please? Emma's hoping John Bailey might be able to help. Stop! I will deal with this. Freeze! In this scene, the hero, Jason, confronts Medusa. That was fantastic, wasn't it? But what I noticed was that the final performance was not just better than rehearsals, it was dramatically better than yes. the rehearsals. And there's something about that period when they're all practising and sliding around. Yes. I think I can see you thinking, <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Um, it's when you hear something and, you, and I'm trying to engage in what one group's saying, but I'm concerned about what others are doing, especially as they're doing stage fighting and they're using material and that, that sort of does concern me. So, I don't want them to hurt themselves. So I do think that sometimes maybe they think they haven't got my full attention when I'm talking to them because I am always sort of constantly wondering what the other groups are doing as well. Well, one of the things that I noticed was that you gave a lot of instructions and structure for the performances themselves, but there was nowhere near that level of structured instructions for the rehearsals. Right. Uh, and, and in rehearsal, it, I just I found myself staring down the camera trying to think of the difference between rehearsal and play mm. uh, and, and how, you can, how you can tell the difference, how they would know the difference yeah. and what kind of language we might use. Now, this group here are on the verge, they're moving out of workshop into play, aren't they? Yes. And then you come, you're going to come back over in just a minute and sort them out. Right, Daniel. Uh, Daniel, where's your group working? Yeah, why don't you find your own space? OK? Now, I am very anxious about this whipping thing. That's what I said to you. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I'm, it's not really what we've... Sorry, it's not really what we've rehearsed, is it? You can maybe use it for... These are just children, and one of the things they're getting in your lesson is an opportunity to play. And even, even, even that child running around doing her whipping and stuff, yeah. uh, well, it's not quite what you want, but, no. she, but she's having the time of her life, yeah. isn't she? And, 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 of course, we need to control it, um, uh, because you're the adult and because you, you've got things for them to learn. There are a few pointers in the national curriculum on how best to rehearse. But John thinks that Emma's informal instructions could provide the basis of a more structured approach. Right, if you just stay in your area, please. Yeah, please. Okay. I was thinking, how do you structure rehearsal? I'm going to freeze you. You say to the children, OK, we're going to rehearse. What are the, some of the things you might do? Well, I copied down most of the things that, that I heard you say. Can you 
please walk through your fight. OK, just do it, just go through the motion. So I'll hit you there, you move your head back, walk it through, and I'll come back in five minutes and see it. Just one thing, there's, there's an invaluable rehearsal instruction there, walk through it. I think that's a kind of idea about slow-mo, isn't it, mm. and, and working something out. <laughs> I want you to make sure there's only one thing going on in your performance at a time, OK? With the stage fighting, if you've got everybody fighting at the same time, the audience isn't going to know where to look, OK? So make sure, for example, if you've got two pairs, that one pair's fighting and then the other pair starts, OK? Thank you, and off you go. There's a, a really key instruction in fights, one thing, yeah, one thing happens at a time. Right, let's go from the beginning of the... Go from the fight. Do the fight. Luke, just the fight. You see it's all a bit more organised now, and that one thing at a time business is happening. They're doing their slow-mo bit there. So if we wanted to give children a set of ideas about how to rehearse, what would be some of the key ideas that we would give them? We might want to say to them, slow motion is very useful. We might want to say to them that one person working at a time is very useful. We might say, want to say to them, every four minutes take a break and take it in turns to be the person who asks the rest of the group what's happening. And I suppose what they are are kind of workshop skills. I was thinking, do we teach children how to workshop, sort of how to rehearse? And then I was thinking to myself, yeah, but this is OK, but this sounds a bit teacherly to me because I've seen a room full of kids having fun. If you were to structure that rehearsal, would that knock the fun out of it? How could we do that without knocking the fun out of it? Um, I th was thinking that we could sort of perhaps build things up in stages because I would always try and um, break up the rehearsal process like I did then with stopping everyone with something else to think about. So I think maybe structuring that a bit more. So maybe I could have done it so to start with they're working on a scene where there are specific skills that they're having to work on. So actually, you know, rather than giving them 15 minutes just to work on it, giving them two minutes to do this and two minutes to do that. Yeah. If that central section was structured more, you could, as you were saying, deliberately structure in some play exercises as yeah. well, couldn't you? Yeah. Two days later, and Emma's put together a formal rehearsal plan, which she's broken down into four basic principles. Work in your own space, work as a team, support each other, and take turns at being the director. Right, can you now label yourselves A and B? John's back to see Year 8 rehearsing the Victorian melodrama, Murder in the Red Barn. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you an emotion. OK, and to start with, I want the sculptors to make their piece of clay into a melodramatic still image of that emotion. So we don't just want happy, but we want happy. OK, really exaggerate it. So let's start off with William Corder. OK, off you go. ugly <laughs> face. Sculptors, sit down. Brilliant, very good. OK, swap round and this time do Ishmael. Yeah. Yeah. The gypsy. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Exactly. Let's Here's Ben. Perfect. So maybe sort of falls a bit. So it's a bit more secret. Yeah, his head up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, well done. Right, I like all these spindly fingers and hunched over characters. Well done. Now, there's just one thing about the rehearsal process, and that is directing one another, and that's really what you've just done, OK? When you're doing a performance, you're doing it for an audience. So, at every opportunity, you need to have somebody watching the performance so that they can see it from the audience's point of view. 
So what I'd like you to do today is really think about directing each other. OK? Off you go. <laughs> Actually, just be watching okay. and making some suggestions. Okay. Should try again. Should try again. Yeah. Right. Should try again. Yeah. William, oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Wait. Uh, Damn. Um, oh. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> can we just move this over? David. I think he's dead. Right. Can you stop, please, and sit down? People are working very well, but I would just like us to do a quick check of how well we're using the rehearsal time, OK? So if you just glance back up at the screen, we need to have people working in their own space, right? So there do seem to be some groups sort of working on top of each other. There's plenty of space, so make sure you've got your own area, please. Make sure you're working as a team, OK? Make sure you're doing as much as you can to help the performance. My mind made up, you died tonight. <laughs> you can to push me over. <laughs> they struggle. He shoots her. She falls into his arms. Can we try directing each other? What do you mean? Well, having one person watching what's going on and making some suggestions. Yeah. All right. Oh, great. And what did you, what did you think? Well, she, she, she said, like, we've got to, like, when we're struggling, we've got to, like, Right, OK? Yeah. Right, get down on your knees again, Catherine. Could you, if you just sort of guide her, so it looks like you're pulling up by her shoulders, but actually it's Catherine getting up. Yeah? Think about your voices as well. So, oh, well, um, yeah, she's really soppy. Great. What did you think? Yeah, I thought it was good. Um, I'm really just trying these things out at the moment with the rehearsal. So some of them today didn't sort of take to it straight away. And when they're actually in their groups, they're saying, well, what, well, what do you mean? So I, th I think it's just in the early stages, but it's something that I'd like to establish. Yeah. But then Ryan at the end, which I didn't pay him to say, but he said, oh, yeah, it was, it was much clearer. The objectives were much clearer. This <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can come again. So, um, so I think it's a work in progress, really, but I think it worked well. I thought it worked well. I, I really like the way you built it up. Yeah, we, you're doing that modelling stuff at yeah. the beginning and then connecting that to the idea. So the idea of practice and, and also the idea of directions in there, isn't it? Yeah. Big time. right? And I thought that was good. And also just looking around the room, the patterns that the room made yes. were kind of more contained and purposeful. And I know what you mean about it being work in progress. Yeah. It? For example, you know, that thing about being a director at some point down the road, Probably we ought to tell them what a director does. Right. Yeah, you know, what they say, mm. what they do. They, you know, directors sometimes stop performances and make suggestions. Yeah. Directors sometimes show that. I mean, you're a director. Yeah. These, you, you get them to describe all the things that yeah. you do. I think we've invented a national first. I was looking again last night. You know, in in, in all the um, all the national curriculum stuff on how you prepare a performance, there's nothing no. about rehearsal no. and workshop skills. So. Um, <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel a paper coming on. That's right, you've got a paper coming on. <laughs> you've got an advisor's job coming on. Yeah.